Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the canyon. Welcome back to an instance where I think Susan has flown too close to the sun. She just does not have the persistence of spin that she once did. We built... Hear the wobble? We built her too fast, which is okay. If she wants to slow down a little, like, this is my work surface. I put rigs on it, and it's nice because she's a lazy Susan. Anyway... This episode is guaranteed to be as disjointed as the intro, because this started out two hours and 15 minutes ago as preparation for a quick, quick, uh, not like a full quick view, just a quick, quick view, like properly quick. I don't know how long this is going to go, because let's just say, suffice it to say, it turned into a thing, because... I had made a recent order from Mias uh, directly in China as they now make brass for their axles. I love the Mias axle because it is a clone or copy of the Vanquish uh, F10 to the point where, we'll do Visual Aid 1, uh, here is the portal box from uh, the Mias axle, Mias portal axle, and then here's a Vanquish cover, and that, that goes... Right on like that. And then here's the, the Mias cover with a Vanquish portal box, and it goes on right like that. All the parts fit together. So if you take a Vanquish portal box, you take one of the Mias covers. Yes, I mean, you, obviously I ordered more than one set. Yes, indeed. Yes, Virginia. They bolt right on. So this is an episode in two distinct halves. There is something you should do, and there is something you should not do. There is a highly recommended, and there is a not recommended. The highly recommended is easy. Here's our boy. You know him. Ratchet. Mios Axles. He was the first uh, application of the Mios Axle. He's the rig that's uh, mostly Canyon Scratch built to the point where I built a gearbox out of Vanquish, Traxxas, and Element Parts. Uh, because I wanted a, a precise amount of overdrive for motor mount, belt drive, the whole thing. So one of these axles is not bolted on all the way. So that we can look... Ooh. Vanquish cover. So that we can look at, at, what we're, uh, at what we're working with ordinarily. There's... See, <laughs> he's been running Vanquish covers on the outside because somebody asked... How close is the copy? Like way back, a long time ago, somebody asked how close is the copy. And I said, well, let me find out. So I slapped a Vanquish cover on there, and they do indeed fit. Because I thought to myself, we have very few options in knuckle weights for F10 portals. So there is the... And it uh, obviously, it bolts right on. While I was at it, I ordered the diff covers... And Mias makes a beautiful diff cover. I have the same diff covers on my set of AR-45s. But, I mean, the ones that are specifically for AR-45s. The fitment of the gear cover was so tight into the axle, I thought it was the wrong part. I think that this gear cover could stay in place with no screws in it. So, I figure what we can do here is we can make a little bit of a mess. I can try to find the tools. Like I said, when I, uh, two plus hours... And 10 minutes of it were spent uh, installing the portal box on the other side. I never liked the fact that Ratchet's axles had red on them. You've got red on you. So when I saw that they were offering brass, I was like, I can get the red out that way. And then our Genom, the Phoenix, just got aluminum inner portal boxes. He just got this part in aluminum. So these are Argentums. So our little bit of Argentum DNA is now going to be in Ratchet. Let's just leave that. Let's just leave that out drive there. So there's the box. And we're not going to use, we're not going to use a lot of it. The, the fitment is exactly as one would expect. Just it just bolts on, which is exactly what it should do. The most difficult part about it is uh, finding the tools to push the bearings out. And in the last one, and by that I mean just stab it with an Allen wrench. When I was doing the last one, on the inner box, 
Was it the end right? Yeah. I, I could not get that bearing out. I couldn't get it out. I, uh, I wiggled and I wiggled and I wiggled and it would not, it would not give up. So I just grabbed another 5x11. This, this definitely will serve. That's a, that's a big bear. That's a big bearing. This will serve as a, as a wonderful segue into the second part of this. The don't do this under any circumstances portion of this program. Let's just say I got to a point where I made an outright refusal to accept something something akin to inevitabilities. Like, what I was working with was something that was not going to fit, and I was not going to accept non-fitment. Whereas, the hardest part of this is extract, is reusing the bearings. If you're just going to pop in other bearings, you'd be done already. I'm just going to grab a 5x11. I'm not even going to bother trying to get that one out. Let's let's just let's just not because the only reason I am popping it out at all is I've decided that I want to uh I want I want to get the red open. And if you have vanquish parts laying around, you can do that. And then all of the bearings fit as they should. And then we slap, should we put more grease in? I don't know. Probably we were going to switch from zinc plated to black oxide fasteners just because we like the look. The, the guys are nice because they have the little groove at the bottom. They got the little groove in the bottom so you can actually access the set screw, which is nice. There are some uh, knuckles that actually have to be assembled like a puzzle box because they don't have the little groove <laughs> to get to the set screw. It's still... It's still super fun trying to feed the pin up in there, which I'll have to do now. And to do it, we have to resort to... Tweezers. We gotta, we gotta fire that in there. Imagine, imagine a world without tweezers. Now the good part is though, then you can turn it 90 degrees, and then there's no way the pin can fall out. I had changed to these are just 10-2 brass hexes because visual aid. The Mias stock hex that comes with it, they look just like this. This is unmodified. They have that silver machined off part for whatever reason on them. Uh, I had said in the past that it is my belief that that is a 12 millimeter hex and that they manufactured it to 12 millimeters and then they anodized it. And anodization, the uh, an anodization layer is not thick, but when it comes to fitment, when you're trying to fit a hub onto a hex, apparently the thickness of that anodization layer, uh, it, it, it's enough. It is enough because sometimes you have to put a punch on your axle and knock the wheel off because they just mate together. And if I can get a set of $9 hexes off of Amazon and take that problem out of my life, I'm going to do it. So, as I, as I said, putting the bearings in, well, getting the bearings out is the hardest part. So this guy, is uh, he's got a little bit of actual Vanquish to go with his semi-clone Vanquish. And why I uh, had stated an incomplete thought at the beginning is because my brain don't work good. I'll finish that thought for you now. Why this is a 100% recommended for me. Look at that caster angle. Uh, why these axles are uh, certainly Canyon recommended 
in my estimation, is you can get them directly from China, from Mias, and you should. They've been out of stock on Amazon for some time. Both of my sets are on uh, are were ordered from Amazon. I got all of my knuckle weights and diff covers directly from Mias in China. And the shipping took five days. Further, and beyond that, uh, it's $21 for the pair of these. And why am I even bought? I'm not going to reuse these tiny little bags. And uh, the covers, these gentlemen here, are $24 for the pair. Now, as I said, or at least alluded to, our options for weight when it comes to F10 axles are few and far between. There's the name that I'm probably butchering. F. It's either F E I F or F I E F from Spain. Fife. Faith. They make a knuckle weight, and then of course, Vanquish makes a knuckle weight. Yeah, Vanquish makes a knuckle weight. The Mios axles are $79.99 for the pair. Uh, slap atop that, $21 for the diff covers, should you, should you like the look of the diff cover. And let's be honest, who wouldn't? Beauty. Uh, and $24 for, the, uh, for, for these gents right here. So, you've got, what is that, 45 and 80? 125 gets you the full axles with brass. This is not sponsored. They're not paying me. They don't know I exist. And atop that, if you're worried about durabilities, this is 16 bucks. It's all the portal gears. It's the stub axles. It's the universal shafts. It's the whole thing for 16 bucks. Full rebuild set for the axle kit. So 125 gets you the axles and weights as outfitted to him right now. 90 bucks. Now, yes, perhaps the most important question, the unanswered question. But what about the weight? Well, we're getting there. We're getting there, my peoples. They are not as heavy. They are not. The Vanquish pair... 90 bucks, 264 grams, 132 grams a piece. That is not an insignificant amount of weight. That's, that's, that's a good amount of weight. The Mias for $24, 187 grams. So we're about 93 grams per side. So we take $24. No, no, no. We take a hundred and we take 188 grams, and that's twenty four dollars. That's uh, in, in, here in the U, here in the U.S. Americas, uh, that is seven point eight grams per dollar. This comes from my cycling days. Then we've got two hundred and sixty five grams for ninety dollars. That's two point nine grams per dollar. I mean, we, we so so it's three times as economical to get these. And then throw some brass rings in your in your wheels for fifteen bucks, and then you've got you've got the two sixty five. I'm not faulting these at all. They are a great part, and they are extremely well manufactured, and they dovetail quite nicely into the second part of this uh, episode slash installment, which is what not to do. What you should do is if you're doing a, if you're looking into doing a build, definitely look into some Mias axles, the Mias portals. I do wish, someone had uh, mentioned this, forgive me for forgetting who, someone had said to me that they wished that they sold the axles individually, and uh, now that the canyon has a mullet, uh, I was like, oh man, I'm right there with you. Because this would be a great rear axle for a mullet. But what it is, is just a great portal axle 
recommended. 80 bucks. And uh, zero issues. The shafts for front and fore and aft are not reduced. So they're like six millimeter all the way down the shaft. Everything's overbuilt. Ratchet gets a little bit prettier today with some big brass up front, some brass there. He's got one more thing I've got to do to him, which is take these red rear covers off and replace them with these, these Vanky covers. Right here. But we'll get to that. Well, and by we, I mean me, and I mean the Royal Us. I have a lot of Mia stickers now. Now, what we're going to cover here moment, for, for a few moments is what not to do. Don't, don't, don't. And I mean it. I mean this. For those unfamiliar, his body is still a dusty boy. This gentleman's name is Black Jack. Black Jack was built off of a Phoenix slider that I got around the Trucks of Fortune time of year last year. This is a killer body Marauder 2. Too beautiful for this world. And it doesn't get driven a lot and it doesn't get featured in a lot of videos because, like, there's where the mirror used to be. Uh, I'm just snapping parts off of it. I don't, I don't drive goodly enough. The, the build on this, building this body, the amount of pieces that are involved in building this body... Uh, it, it's, you're almost at a hard body. You're not, you're not quite there, but you're almost there. Like you got it. The, these are individual buckets that go in. It has full inner fenders. It's got the whole, it's got the whole thing. And Hey, right hand drive. It's a beautiful body. So as this was built from a Phoenix slider, uh, we, we took the, the twin out put in an Amazon dig box, located the battery here, forward motor mount for a fusion. Everything is super low, straight across. The thing is super low. Uh, these are KLR trail specs with the trail spec halos, drive techs. He's, he's got pretty things on him. So I thought, what, a, what better guy to get some knuckle weights? The only reason he didn't have knuckle weights is because... They're $90. And you will notice here that he is fitted with a Mias knuckle weight for the Mias portals in the, in, in the front. And that's, and, and, and that's where the under, no, no, under narrow circumstances should you do this comes into play. And when I say it, I mean it. Because, before I bolt this wheel on, I want you to look closely. That is a Triol plus five hex. And this is a four millimeter stub axle, not to be confused with the five millimeter thread Vanquish stub axle. Because what Triel has done is they've made a pretty pancaked, it's much easier to see the one that's out of the package. They've made a pretty pancaked hex, right? Or, or knuckle, portal cover, portal cover. The hex sits down into it about four or five millimeters, which makes it so you cannot use the Vanquish hex. The Vanquish hex sits down inside that hole. You will notice, can, can we see? The Vanquish sits down inside that hole. You will notice on the Vanquish, they get around this problem by just making this huge recess where when you put it together, the whole SLW hub is basically down inside this recess. So you have no fitment issues. The Vanquish stub was way too short. No hex I put on it would allow me to mount the wheel. But I had gotten to a point where these were going on come hell or high water. So what I did is I took a Triol plus five stub axle for a TRX-4. I lined it up next to... For those unfamiliar, the front and rear stub outs on Vanquish are different. This longer one with the big collar is a front and this short collar is a rear. So you can see this is to space it out because of the knuckle and the portal box. So it's to space the steering out so that the top gear clears the bearing, that big old bearing. So that spacer is to space it out past the big old bearing for where the input shaft is. So I lined that up with the Triol 
And funnily enough, where it is lasered triol on the side, if you drill a 2.5 millimeter hole, two millimeter hole, if you drill a two millimeter hole directly through the R in triol, you can fit that triol axle into the Vanquish portal box. And then because it's six millimeter at the back, Vanquish axles are six at the, or stubs are six at the back, T-Rex four axles, uh, stubs are six at the back. Then you, you've just got that guy, you've got that guy on there. And what you've done is you've widened the track width by three millimeters on either side. It's not plus five because we had to drill the hole farther in so the axle is inserted more. So it's actually plus three. So I will be changing out the SLWs. These are conventional nine millimeter SLWs on here. I will be changing those out to six millimeter SLWs, which will take him right back to the width that he was before. I, as I said, I was committed. This vehicle was going to get these knuckle weights and there was nothing it could do to stop me. In the rear, we have a similar, we have a Triol plus five TRX4 hex, but it's flipped around and usually that hex has a little shoulder on it, has a little eight millimeter shoulder. They look like this. So we grind that shoulder off and we flip it around so the screw is at the outside. We get ourselves some aluminum. I made an extra and we turn ourselves a spacer so that the hex can't tighten down and pancake into the box. See, good fitment there. And this is a non-extended. This is a regular TRX4 stub axle. And then the wheel just pops right on. And with the extended in the front, because we had to re-drill, and with the standard in the back, because we did not have to re-drill, the track width is identical front and rear. Now. There are some advantages to this. First and foremost of which, among which I would say, no more five millimeter wheel nuts. You can just use regular four millimeter wheel nuts on this guy, and that's great. Why Vanquish didn't reduce that down and they force us to use that size wheel nut, I don't know. There's, there's no conceivable reason for it. And I just want to prove to everyone Those little uh, helicopter servos, they're very fast. So he's got front weight, which is something that I thought he needed because his body is not the lightest thing in the shop. It is hard body adjacent. But at the same time, what, don't, whatever you do. Like this, this was not a money saving endeavor. This was a, I refuse to give up endeavor. These, uh, the, the, the stubs that are in there are from, I don't know who. I have a selection of standard length and extendeds. Daphne used to be on extendeds and then she went to a different wheel set. She went to a conventional set. I have a drawer basically. There's the Traxxas TRX4 axles and hexes. So it was no problem for me whatsoever to drill out some hexes, to drill out some axles and mount portal weights on this guy because I wanted portal weights on them and I didn't want to spend $90. To anyone else out there, bu just buy the Vanquish ones from the VRD. <laughs> Get the alloy ones. They're like, they're the same weight as these but they're flat faced. So <laughs> you will bolt them on as fast as we bolted the ones onto ratchet. Don't, don't do this. I did this. Uh, I, I mean, I guess what it boils down to is because I can, but not, not recommended. And, and can we get them angled up just right there? There's the, there's the added width. It used to be that just the outer lug right here, was outside, like I said, we're pushed out three millimeters all the way around. Skinnier hex, we'll pull it right back in. And now I got to use G-Made uh, scale hubs. 
Looks pretty. It's nice. Blacked out on there. Uh, uh, absolutely not recommended. So, our dreams are not fully answered. You, you can fit $24 portal covers, 90 grams a piece, onto your Phoenix F10 axle. But at the same time, you can't. Like, you can't. You need a set of, you need a pair of TRX4 extended stubs, a pair of standard TRX4 stubs, a set of four TRX4 extended hexes, uh, some cobalt drills to drill out the front axles. Uh, you're going to need to make some, oh, did I point out that in the back there's aluminum spacers? Six millimeter ID, eight millimeter OD, they are two and a half millimeters thick. Actually, they are 2.45 millimeters thick. To, to, to remove the rear end slop. Actually, the rear end... Oh, my apologies, Squirrely Dan. Uh, the rear axles are actually a little tighter than they... Like like this, the lateral play, uh, they're tighter now than when they were stock. But this, this entire thing, which we can't call a debacle... My brain trends toward calling it a debacle, but we can't call it a debacle because it was successful... Uh, I, I, I've got, I've got nice black treated low pro portal boxes on there. And you know, honestly, uh, I will probably have to take them out and drive them a bit to see if I even notice six millimeters of added track with, he's not a light fella. He's not been outside in some time. <laughs> he's a dusty boy, dusty boy. We've succeeded. So, pardon me, Blackjack. The Mios axles uh, go on the on the Canyon short list of recommended axles. For a portal axle, our options of buying a la carte are fairly slim. Uh, like assembling some AR forty five P's and. I like the AR-45 straight more than I like the AR-45P. Th this is a great axle, especially at $80 for the set. They are robust, and it will cost you about $45 to put weights and diff covers on them. You can order it all in one from Mias. I will put a link below to the Mias store. All of their stuff on Amazon is either currently unavailable or shipping directly from Mias, so you might as well just order directly from Mias. They also have HD44 clones, aluminum HD44 clones that are about $160 for the set. So that's half the price of real, of genuine HD44s. I am seriously considering them because I just want to try them, honestly. So there you go. It was like a, it was a fat, it was an, a, a wholly unintentional fab lab. I had no intentions of having to, I, I just thought, oh. I'll be able to bolt these on. Bish bosh, slap them on. And then when I put it on and I noticed that the hex was like Frenched all the way down into the inside, I was like, oh no. I'll just put a, a thicker hex on. So I grabbed a, a hex of about that size, about an eight millimeter hex, and slid that on there. And then there's no threads to screw the nut onto. But I bought three sets of these. These are bound for Lolo. Lolo is getting these because he's on Mias axles. He's also getting the other pair of of uh, diff covers. So I will burn through all of my Mias that I bought. Their parts work great together, and it's I we can't blame Mias for their twenty four dollar portal covers not direct fitting onto an F ten portal. I wanted them to desperately. But I fully understand why they don't, because I have, I have had to bang C hubs onto an axle with a hammer, uh, and I've had to remove them with a vice, because when you mix aftermarket with aftermarket with aftermarket, sometimes things aren't going to fit. So I don't think Mias, Mias made these for their axles. They don't, they don't view these as F10 clones. 
the parts just happen to be compatible. If you have any questions about the Mies parts, if there's anything else I forgot to mention, if you're a psychopath that would like a parts list of what you need to do, what you should absolutely not do, and put the $24 portal weights onto F10 axles, uh, I, I, I can supply that. You just, I mean, you, you're going to need cobalt to drill through the stubs. And you're going to need some luck to drill the pins through. One pin on blackjack is definitely through better than the other one. I had to use a sleeve to tap one of the, the gears on, so it's definitely on there. The fitment is great. The fitment is far better on this. And like I said, about $125. What you're looking at, his axle, as outfitted right here, knuckle weights, covers the axles themselves and then the rears. You're looking at 125 all in, which is just a little bit more than what it costs to get TRX4 axles. And uh, I'm not, like, there's way more gear reduction in a TRX4 axle. You run into some issues there. It's a great, as far as economical axles go, it's great. Recommended. I want, I've gone on far too long. Uh, thank you for bearing with me. Bear where? And uh, we will see you in the next one. As I said, comment below any questions, comments, or concerns. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. I invite you all, in the meantime, to do your very best to have a good one, everybody. We will see you again real soon. Thanks for dropping by the canyon. We love to have it.